By the year 2000, 55 years old, it seemed time to stop and do a little serious thinking and decide what to do when I finally grew up. In September of that year, Sungshim College of Foreign Languages in Busan, South Korea, rang me with a job offer that was five times my Chinese salary. This was kind of hard to resist. So I morphed into a visiting professor at this Korean college and began to learn about this ancient and very fascinating culture. I made some contacts here in 2001. I'm in the small city of Gambo, uh, eating a Korean supper. A friendly dentist uh, had the habit of driving me around Korea on weekends, and this was one of our visits. I was in the small satellite town of Bansondong, on the outskirts of Busan. It had narrow, cluttered, colourful streets. The students, I learned, didn't take life too seriously. But that was okay. We got on well. The big news for 2002 was the FIFA World Cup Soccer Finals in Korea. The whole country went crazy. Gradually, over the years, I'd kind of developed three career tracks. On one hand, I was a researcher in linguistics. There was no money in that, but it was interesting. Then, I was a teacher or lecturer in the English language. And there was a living in that, and I enjoyed the teaching. But the third track was writing. I'd been writing most of my life, and the invention of the internet kind of brought it together, so that after a few years I'd collected a large amount of my own writing. This gradually became known, and in 2002 I was offered the job of becoming writings editor for the community website Busan Web. Haha, this is a kind of fake interview. A local hospital opened a foreigner's clinic and decided they needed a publicity photograph. So I was asked to pose with a doctor. The photo appeared on the front cover of their house journal. I'd become almost a stranger to Australia, but each year I returned to make contact with family. Here, my two sisters are enjoying a good joke. Well, what are sisters for, anyway? My mother likes her quiet life with her garden and her books. She's been reading all her life. I was three years at Sungshim College, which eventually merged with Yungsan University. In the process, I developed some new skills, teaching winter English camps to kids like this one in 2003 in Pansandong. Hyundai Beach in winter, by far the best time for Busan's favourite playground. Soon I would be tempted to move into its neighbourhood. In September 2003, a different kind of opportunity came along at Busan University of Foreign Studies. I was asked to develop a program for graduate teachers 
cross-credited for master's programs in American universities. My students, as you can see, were especially attract very attractive indeed. Why wasn't I thirty years younger? One of the nice things about teaching graduates is that you meet some pretty smart people who sometimes become your friends. Here is my best student from this program. And here is another friendly student from that program who still keeps in touch even today. The teacher training program was really useful. In the course of helping others, I had to think carefully about my own teaching and what teaching was all about. I developed an extensive lecturing program, which is still on my internet site. The job did leave little time for anything else. The following year, about September 2004, I was offered another position in Chungju. Chungju is in the very center of South Korea, in the mountains. It's famous for Chungju Dam, which has hmm, maybe 90 kilometers of beautiful waterways. At Chungju National University, the deal was about two-thirds of my previous salary for three times the holiday. That suited me wonderfully because I could really get down to writing and research. The university is 9.2 kilometers from the city, which is a good bike ride, but a bit chilly in winter. Chungju itself is a small city, but rather pretty as Korean towns go, between the rice paddies and the mountains, with the lake behind. The mountains around Chungju are a constant challenge and delight. I do some climbing several times a week. Here with friends we conquer Waraksan. The most beautiful and majestic peak in the region. In China I struggle to learn Chinese. In South Korea I struggle to learn Korean. With some help from friends. In a friendly exchange of our languages. China is still close for holidays and exploring. Here in the summer of 2006 I check out the Great Wall at Mu Tianyu. The Chinese are busy rebuilding the wall to keep in the tourists. So with a friend we decided to give them a hand. They say being beautiful brings all the advantages. When you're ugly like me you have to make your own luck. Ha <laughs> ha. So here I am at the beginning of 2007, still full of energy. The big question is, what next? There is just one good answer to that, an interesting life.